Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today is Forbidden Ant Farm Survival, episode 20. And you guys may be wondering, for those of you who are longtime followers of this series and the previous one, why I am currently in the extreme ant farm area. And that is because, uh, as you can see, my bed is in my inventory. I tore that up. And I have come here to do a simple trade that people have been pointing out in the comments that I should do. So something that I kind of knew about prior, but I didn't know it was in the extreme ant farm, which is why I have come here. And that trade is that I can trade one ruby let's see let's go ahead and let's go here i can trade one ruby for an exoskeleton which is protection enchantment level 41 and uh, so i think i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do that but in order to get a ruby i need to go ahead and i need to come over to the currency exchange here and i need to give this guy two stacks of 64 emerald and i will get the rubies just like that and stuff so i'm going to try and give myself a couple of these rubies considering that the amount of um considering that these are pretty much infinite um yeah the reason why I'm getting a whole ton of them, okay, let me just make sure I do this correctly. The reason why I'm getting a whole ton of them is because I think I need like five or ten of them and I can get myself uh, a Maconite gem and the Maconite gems, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, are what is required in order to get uh, another piece of something awesome as well. And let me go ahead and let me see if I can find out what that is. Uh, yeah, the actually the Maconite gems are in the Forbidden Ant Farm and that's what you get to get the like super duper, super overpowered weapons. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I've brought over all of my emerald blocks. So I do just, I wanna be sure that I don't trade them all, but I trade, you know, a lot of them. Um, so yeah, all right, so emerald. Actually, it wouldn't really matter if I traded them all. So what I wanna do is I wanna get like, I don't know, 13 or something like that. So actually, I'm looking pretty good to get 14 of these. So let's go ahead and let's just do this here. Again, as long as I don't completely run out of emeralds, I don't think I'm going to have a problem. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's do that. Bam, 14. Let's do one more set, and then I think we're going to be good. So 15 rubies are what we have now. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's see here. Yeah, again, so the trading system here. So this is what I was talking about, the Mechanite gem. And these are required in order to make, a, or is the Mechanite? I, I think it's probably Mechanite. Um, the Mechanite gems are what is required to create some of the really super powerful stuff um, in the Forbidden Ant Farm. So let's go ahead and let's let's get over here. It does stink though, I am going to actually need more of these. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more farming of these later. And I also gave myself some coins to do a trade as well, but I can't remember exactly what it was. I'll have to look up look that up. But anyway, so let's go ahead and let's give myself... Um, uh, yeah, I th uh, I think four of them will work. So let's go ahead and like, give myself four exoskeletons. These are going to be a big help uh, as we progress through everything. And it's good good to know that for the most part, we're going to have these um, in pretty ready supply. Um, so anyways, so what is it that I wanted to do? I wanted to trade um, coins for something as well, but I can't. Oh, it was uh, in the food shop, actually. I wanted to trade uh, 32 coins for baked potatoes because baked potatoes are really good food. Um, actually, steak is pretty good as well. Mm hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't actually know wh which is more valuable. I think, honestly, I should just go for the pork chop because I think it's honestly going to be worth more bang for my buck. So let's go ahead and let's do that. All right, so bang, bang. And I do have a lot more coins left at the Forbidden Ant Farm, so I don't have to worry about using all of these if I am able to. So, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do that there. Bang, bang. Oh, nice. This is going to be a nice, perfectly rounded little equation. And I've already hit this button to, um, previously I was spawning in the regular ant farm and I hit this button to, sup, to uh, spawn here. So I also think at one point during this series I am going to complete the metal room. But uh, yeah, and that is an alarm telling me to wake up. But I already woke up because I don't wake up to your alarms. <laughs> Alright, we progress. Alright, so I need to get a spawner, a zombie spawner, a skeleton spawner. Um, I'd, l I'd like to make this into a regular creeper uh, metal, I guess. I need two spider ones. We're gonna worry about that at some other point in the series, but I, do, I did want to let you guys know that I was, in fact, thinking about it. So anyways, now that we have four exoskeletons, I think we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop these in here as I normally would, um, because typically, like, even though I have all my stuff on me, typically I would have come without anything on if I didn't have the, um, the, uh, game rule to keep my items. So I'm just gonna pretend as if, uh, that is what we have used. If that makes any sense, I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm making any sense to you guys today. I I might be. I might not be. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I have a feeling my alarm is gonna ring in ten minutes as well because I think I I usually set two alarms because I I don't usually wake up to one. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's set let's set our game mode to flying here because climbing up this waterfall is really annoying. I really wish I had some kind of like speedway up. Maybe like I'll create a. Uh, 
a uh, command block down there or something like that and we could use that to just kind of teleport up because this is it is very, in fact very easy to get back here I don't have to worry about it at all so yeah we're gonna have to use 15 of our levels to get back so if I have missed anything that I could have done here oh well I still got more and I'll be able to farm out more in the future so yeah all right so let's go ahead and let's climb over here I just realized my sounds are really low as well so let's go ahead and let's fix that issue um, all right so bam there we go whispers to you it's now accessible upon death death all right let's let's then let's let's go ahead and die yeah <laughs> all right respawn there we go okay so now we have this stuff this is where we, we have spawned now I need to go ahead and I need to put my bed back and then we can get progressing with this episode I got this because I wanted to make the uh, one area that I had to go to a little bit easier so let's go ahead and let's do this here and stuff and it'll be awesome and we have now slept in our beds and stuff okay so now if we go back into here exoskeleton give me a, give me a, give me that exoskeleton I also believe that there is a trade in a shop somewhere um, I'm not exactly sure which though I do have all of the trades written down I just kind of don't feel like looking through them like I have a text file over there wow why did I point over there over there with all of the trades so um yeah see so that noise was me trying to search through it and Okay, so an exoskeleton for a ruby. Yeah, so I guess there isn't a trade for the exoskeleton. I thought there was. I know at some point I can get a really super overpowered um, chest piece. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's get this party starting in here. So what we're looking to do is pretty much the same thing as the last episode. We are looking to conquer said area that we were trying to conquer in the previous episode. So we just kind of have to get down here. So the way we do that is... No, get out of here. No, no. Oh, crap. Oh, God. I'm probably going to die. Okay, maybe not. Actually, this exoskeleton is really helping a lot. So then we go ahead and we head down here. I probably should get a permanent water source there at some point. Stop it! Stop it, guys! Stop it! Stop! All right, let's go and let's uh, let's mine this up. There we go. And I forgot to bring blocks with me. All right, yeah, this is fun. Whoops! Whoopsie whoops! Actually, I can just get more blocks by just doing this because uh, I I remembered that I needed to bring more blocks with me in order to uh, conquer the area. And I didn't bring any, so let's go ahead and let's fix this issue right now by mining up some blocks. I'll probably get like, I don't know, a stack or two or something like that. Um, we shall see. We shall see. But yeah. So anyways, um, how have you guys been enjoying, you know, the, I guess, sort of revival of Forbidden Ant Farm Survival? Like the way that I've been doing it, have you guys been enjoying it? Is there anything that you guys would like to see different in the series that would um, not necessarily make it harder, but try and think of it um, in terms of it being more entertaining? What do you guys think could make the series more entertaining as we progress because I am having a lot of fun so far I'm not looking to like implement super hostile um, type mechanics because this map has got plenty of them um, I'm just I want to look to make the map fun you know uh, and or I should say more fun because it is already fun as it is so what do you guys think could make this more fun feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below as long with any suggestions that you guys may have I am more than open to anything okay so this area I think um, this is a blank area. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and let's just torch this up a little bit just to be sure nothing can just spawn in here out of the ordinary or out of the blue. Okay. All right. So I guess we have this area if we ever needed it. Cool. All right. So now we got a bunch of blocks here, at least enough for the time being. I probably should create some half slabs as well. Um, we'll see. And we head down here and this is the currency exchange. Um, I, I didn't keep any of my currencies on me, but yeah, so... Currency exchange. I I could trade one ruby for 64 emeralds. That'd be such a pointless trade. Um. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's keep progressing here. Got to head off in this direction. And uh, then once we get to the end of this hallway here, why do creepers creepers keep exploding randomly? This is the only map I've ever had that happen on. Oh God. Wait a minute. I can't. Eh. I don't. I don't want to be poisoned. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get poisoned when I go down there. Um. Do I have a bow? Do I have a bow on me? I think I do. Okay, you go away. Go away. Okay, go away. No. This is, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work out in my favor here. I can just tell. I, I need to kill enough of them off so that I can hit the button without being poisoned. There we go. Okay, good. Whew. All right. So here's the area that we came off into. So this is how we were progressing up. And then we died because mobs kept being able to jump up here. So let's go ahead and let's try and fix that issue right now. And let's go ahead and let's make a little bit of a climb here. Okay, so let's do that, 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 and that. Alright, so now we are high enough up, I believe, where we're not going to have to worry about too much. 
Um, I should probably think about maybe setting down some torches as well. Yes, these mobs are going to be spawning here like crazy. And I don't really know what to expect with this area. Um, I think, yeah, see, I don't want to get knocked down by skeletons, so I know that I should uh, be stacking like this. And yes, I know it's going to create half slabs, but I really just don't want to worry about it right now. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, wow, they have an insane knockback. Oh my god, that's nuts. Okay, you die, die. Oh god, me standing up there is probably not the greatest idea I've ever had. Okay, 15. Okay, so that's a normal skeleton. I don't know if they all have knockback or if that was just a fluke. Um, but it could have just been a fluke. I really have no idea. Uh, for a second, I thought I couldn't set the block there because there was, um... There was that, uh, those arrows there. That would have been really funny. Okay, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't, skeleton. Not today, not in my house. Okay, so, oh god, I have an enderman after me now. No! No! Enderman, stay away! Stay away! I don't know where the enderman might be. I think maybe that's it. Like, did I did I just get him? I think I may have gotten him. I have no idea. Did I? Ow! No! Ah! Ah! I'm so dead. All right. So they all have the knockback effect, and I will die instantly with the exoskeleton, even still. Wow. Okay, then. That is... That is insane. All right, do I have any more blocks on me so I don't have to mine up a ton of them right away? Because I don't think that I do, actually. I don't know why I, ha I checked the... Oh, oh, I do have a bunch on me, so I can actually do that. There should be some, like, anti-knockback effect or something, because that would be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and let's head back here. Um, yeah, just continuing this progression of life that we call the Forbidden Ant Farm is what we are here to do today. But it is nice that I don't really take, like, fall damage or anything, because it, it is... Oh, there we go. Okay, down, down we go, down we go. Ow, ow. Okay, whatever. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? What was that? I just ran away from it and it launched me. God, uh, moments like that are just what? It's the only thing I can think. All right, so again, let's continue progressing a little bit further. We're going to have to deal with these little freaky knockback skeletons, but, uh, oh, well, whatever. We've dealt with worse in the past, I, I think. I think. Constant knockback skeletons? Yeah, we've, we've dealt with worse. So, all right. So maybe what I probably, maybe what I should do is I should just keep progressing this, but, like, without the edges? I don't know if that would be a good idea. Nope, 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 nope. Wouldn't be a good idea. Wouldn't be a good idea. Bail on that idea. Bail, bail, bail. Oh, Wait a minute, that one, did, uh, that one didn't knock me back, but it's shooting really fast. Okay, um, I know that jumping doesn't help here, guys. You've said that, you guys have said that a lot. But jumping is helping here because I don't want to reveal myself. I think maybe this is why I jump, because I typically do hiding shoot. Like, I typically shoot and hide, um, like that. So maybe that's why I do that. Oh god, there's a witch in here, I heard it. Okay, actually, I probably should be continuing off this way. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Ow. Yeah, see, I, I, wait a minute. I don't know where those are being fired from. Uh, let's go ahead and let's create a little wall here that we can get knocked back against. I really have no idea where are those even fire. They're landing on the ground. So it's like something that's constantly firing those off in that direction. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let's continue here. Okay, bang, bang. And then we can do, go ahead and we can do that. So that's, that's really firing those things fast. Whatever it is, I hope it doesn't reach me. Uh, maybe I should send down TNT onto it. I think that would be the best solution for everybody. For this, for every everybody and everything. Wow, look at the- Oh, no! I think I'm gonna have to get real low on this area. Ow. Okay. Let's go and let's do that. Let's do that. I wanna get close enough- to Ow! Okay. I think maybe that knockback was a fluke. I'm not sure because they're not knocking me back as far as that other one was. Maybe it's like- a higher chance, or maybe I just simply was getting unlucky. I really have no idea. Okay, as long as the, as long as I, okay, come on, stop it. All right, there we go. Let's go and let's do that. Okay, um, I think, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's do this. Let's hit this. Let's 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 watch explosions happen, and who knows if the whole world's gonna explode? So I'm just gonna back up a bit. Ah, yeah, they were after me, anyways. Whatever. Okay, there we go. So now that's been taken out of the way. You know what I probably should do is I should probably send down a few. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. And let's mine this one up as well, just in case. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want this one to be launched off. Let's do that. There we go. 
Let's do that and let's see what'll happen. Let's see if it'll create some super effect. Bang! Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. They're, they're all still after me now. So what do I do in this case? I feel like- Oh, uh, I'm dead. Uh, let's try and- let's try and move though. Let's just try and- Oh, I got trapped. I got trapped. Okay, let's-, let's I couldn't- I couldn't figure out if anything was there. <sighs> All right, well, this- this exoskeleton is- seems like it's gonna last me at least a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Man, if only I could make myself invisible to those mobs. I know I can make myself invisible to, um, Enderman with a pumpkin, but that's really annoying to work with. Um, but man, I wish I could make myself invisible to mobs. I think I can with an invisibility potion, but I don't know of any way to actually get one, because I don't have... Well, I can get a beacon block, and I can get an... Inch well, I don't... Yeah, I don't need... No, not a beacon block. Why did I say that? I meant to say a brewing stand. I'm, I get so mixed up with... Those, all those, uh, like, I sometimes mix up those words of all the items that came up during that time frame. And to get that, I would need a golden carrot, with which I'd need golden ingots. Hang on. I'm trying to think if I could create an invisibility potion behind the scenes, like, in the, before the next episode or something. Um, I know that it requires golden carrots, and then it requires a fermented spider eye. The fermented spider eye requires a spider eye... And sugar and something else. And that gets you an invisibility potion. I'm I'm not 100% sure if that makes you invisible from all mobs. So I'm going to have to test that. But at the very least, I did want to let you guys know that I am thinking about that idea. Because making an invisibility potion, if I could just kind of truck through all those mobs, might be kind of cool. I really don't know if it'll work. Um, but it might be worth trying and it's going to be worth creating it behind the scenes. Um, so, again, just letting you know, letting you guys know that I am thinking about the prospect. So, anyways, let's go ahead and let's head off in this direction here. So, I need to figure out what exactly we're doing with this area. This is clearly going to be a little bit harder than the previous area, just because of, um, I don't know which direction I need to go. The last area, I think, was just a linear straight, oh no, it wasn't, yeah, it was for the most part a linear straight shot, so that's something that I just have to consider. Okay, so let's go and let's do that, let's do that. So I think if I create the edges first, it'll help a lot. Um, so let's go and let's do that. I don't know. Looks like they're all fighting each other here, which is definitely a good thing for me. Um, greatest flow density is on the right side, so I feel like I should go to the right. But I don't know if that's the wrong way, it just it may very well be the wrong way. So let's go ahead and let's try this here. Okay, what am I doing? What am I, what am I even doing? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I... I want to get rid of that. There we go. Okay. What are you What are you guys even doing down there? You guys having fun? You guys having fun? Okay. Like, I, I hear arrows flying, but the they're not coming after me, so I'm just going to kind of do this as long as I can. Because why not? You know what? Let's let's create a border here, because I, I have a feeling they're going to get me really soon. Okay. So then, bam, bam, bam. They're not spawning. Like, they're actually making this a little easy for me. Thankfully. So let's actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and let's keep doing this. Why not? Uh, do I have any more torches? There we go. So I guess maybe the skeletons don't spawn everywhere, or I'm just getting insanely lucky, because I don't, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything inside of these obsidian pillars as well. Maybe I should check. Just to, just to see if I can get a peek inside of the obsidian pillars. You know, you never, you, you, you don't know what's going to be inside of these things. Uh, I guess more obsidian. Okay, um, good to know if I ever need obsidian, I can just come here, even though I have plenty of it in the Forbidden Ant Farm. Alright, so yeah. Here we go, here we go, guys. Here. Oh, no, there's a skeleton. Nope, 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 there's a skeleton. Nope, there's a skeleton. Nope, there's a skeleton, and there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Um, okay, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, bam, let's get rid of that. Bam. Oh, be careful. Be careful there, cre there are creepers abound. Creepers abound, guys. Okay, just gotta be super duper careful now. Okay, so then create create our little borders here. Bang, bang, ow, 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 ow. Don't do that. Doesn't matter. Hey, hey, hey. What did what did I tell you? What did I tell you, skeleton? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and let's uh let's take care of that little hill there because that little hill is um a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what do you guys care? What do you guys care? Okay, let's go ahead and let's progress this way. Hopefully they can't get at me like this, like with the dirt path or something like that. Man, this is so just sketchy on so many levels. Let's see how much a single bow shot will do to them. Only three. That Man, that's, that's brutal. 
Okay, so let's go and let's do this. Let's do this. I probably should be creating this border path. Let's go and let's do that. Okay, so let's keep let's let's continue doing this here. I, I really have no idea how I'm gonna survive this. I think what I need to do is I need to create a wall. I need to create a wall somehow where they cannot pass. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way that I can do that. Like, I really have no idea if there's a way that I can create a wall that they cannot pass. Okay, let's see if I can just kill off, like, all of them right away or something. You know, just just do bang, 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 bang. Oh, god, why did I try and set fire there? Let's, let's run away. Okay, did I, did I kill them? Did I kill any of them? I have no idea if I killed anything. Oh, I killed a spawner, apparently. So that's a, that's a, that's a good, that's a good deal. Okay. Let's go ahead and, you know, I'm just gonna do this now. Now that it seems like, uh, we're kind of clear of skeletons. I'm gonna dig through the wall here. See if there's anything on the other side immediately. I really have no idea, like, if this is gonna lead me to the end, or if it's gonna lead me to even anywhere that is even remotely considering progressive. But, uh, I do see skeletons there. I see that there, there are places, there, we have places to go. Oh man, you know what I should have done? I should, I shouldn't, wait a minute, okay, wait a minute. Hey, all the skeletons are going after each other again. I love it. I love it when that happens. It makes it makes life so convenient. No, I should have dug up a little bit um, so I could use this dirt path here as the way to travel. And I like this. So then we do that, and then we dig through here this way, just like this. Right, let's see what we got going on on the other side here. What what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? What's going on? Ah no, no, don't do that. Don't 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 do that. Don't do this. Don't do this, guys. Guys. Guys, I'm, I'm trying to be super, super polite here. Just don't do this. Okay. You know, I just realized, too, is that the knockback effect is effectively useless. If, um, I have a ceiling above me. Like, the knockback effect is completely useless. Okay. I really do hope that this, uh, exoskeleton is, in fact, helping. Alright, let's go ahead and let's continue heading off in this direction. Even though all those creepy crawlers and stuff are below me, I really... This may be the way to go. This may not be the way to go. I really don't know. Um, I see spawners underneath there, but this feels like a dead end. I see a pillar right here. What is, what is in this pillar here? Is there anything inside of this pillar that I need to know about? Um, I really would like to know. Because, uh, I feel like there, there should be something in this pillar, but there's not. There's nothing in this pillar. Alright, so, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send down some TNT. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, first I need to do that. And I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, real life stuff. We got we got the phone. We got we got the phone alarm going off in this video. We got so many things happening in this video, guys, that it's insane. All right, so this definitely looks like a dead end. I'm just saying, feels like a dead end. If it's not a dead end, it, well, the end, the exit isn't showing itself to me too readily. So, all right, we're gonna have to maybe just truck our way off in this direction until I can get more blocks. Let's just go and let's do it. Let's do this, guys. Guys, let's do this. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, uh, I don't have anything to heal right now. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, God, I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, nope, stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh, I'm in darkness, I'm in darkness. Okay, nope, let's just keep going, let's keep going. Let's try and set down torches if we can. I'm getting knocked back like crazy. Ow, 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 I can't, ow, I can't sprint. Okay, um, get this up, get this, get this, get this, get this. Okay, sprint, sprint, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm dead from these guys. I can't progress any further. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. Alrighty then. Um, yeah. Kind of stinks that that, uh, that that side at least feels like it wasn't the, the side I needed to go off into. Um, I really have no idea if that was it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this episode for the time being. We've had quite a bit of fun. And in the next episode, we are going to continue trying to progress to the left area. Um, if, in, if it is, in fact, the right area I need to go to and you guys know it for a fact, then um, feel free to tell me that. But it doesn't feel like that's where I need to go. So we're going to progress off to the left. So anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed uh, this episode of Forbidden Ant Farm Survival. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.